Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee Break um, with Amanda. I just spoke for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> In case you forgot who you were. Oh my gosh. You can introduce me now if you want. And this is Josh. Here we are, your expert design team. We don't know who we are, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> today we are bringing you an episode of Coffee Break that is kind of fun. It's yay or nay with some design choices. And... I think these are some good topics. I think so too. I think yeah. we're going to have some fun with this one. Yes, and I think what's kind of interesting about it is I think everybody that's watching this, one of these is going to speak to you because you probably have it in your home. So definitely we'll give you some advice and let you know what we think of it. Yeah. So, um, and you can agree or disagree totally. with us. Please disagree. <laughs> Please disagree. It makes it more fun. Yeah. So, um, so I guess starting off, right, let's start off with a trend that like – Threw up everywhere for a very long time. A long time, yeah. And it's still throwing up everywhere, yeah. including my house. 100%. <laughs> Mason jars in design. There's a place for it. I agree. It makes sense. It does. I think an overuse of mason jars. I was just going to say, like, overkill. Too much. Scale it back. Too much. Mason jars are really cool. I mean, I personally love mason jars as cups, so I'm definitely like that... Like a coffee, like iced I coffee just in love, a mason I mean, jar. That's and great. then you break one and you know you just go buy a new mason jar and it's just great. It's just, that's why at least I do it. Um, they just look nice. They do having look nice. company over. Yeah. Do you want a nice coffee in my nice mason jar? Exactly. It just looks better. I'm into it. Totally into it. But whenever you get crazy and you start hanging like mason jars from your, from your walls and then you have like, I don't know, fixtures and plants and all your mason jar, it's yeah. just, it's super, super farmy and it's like. Yeah, it's definitely very farm. Yeah. Farmhouse trend. Yeah. And it takes a weird nosedive. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I I only have a few, but um, what I'm using them for right now is a uh, utensil holder. Oh, that's great. So Totally makes just, sense. Just a little cluster with some utensils. Yes. And that's it. So I guess what I'm hearing us say is that mason jars are a yay in light quantity. Yes. In light moderation. Moderation. <laughs> moderation. Yes. Everything is better. In moderation. in moderation. Yes, of course. Yeah. So, okay, mason jars was the first one. Second one. Not their chairs. Not their Not their. You, are they there or are they not? <laughs> and everyone right now is like, what is a not their chair? <laughs> a not their chair is a plastic see-through chair. Like a desk You've chair. You've seen them. You've seen these Oh, chairs. you've definitely seen them. It it's reminds, hard to see them. It reminds me but of like the '90s see-through phone. Do you yeah. remember that? Oh my god! I, yes. Right? I know. I just kind of like that phone. <laughs> I know those were actually kind of cool because they had an element <laughs> in them. Not their chairs. I'm just going to say it are a hard no. Like nay. No. 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 I don't know. I can't even think of an instance in which they work. I've seen them at where did I see them? Where I'm like, mm, okay, uh, a wedding ceremony. Set okay, up, like, a okay. Very modern okay. look. Uh -huh. Um, but I I personally it's not my thing. I don't yes. I don't like see through chairs, no. but And I don't think I would ever source a see through chair for a client. No. Ever. No. no. So just, we'll just move past that. Yeah, see through so. chairs are just not good. Moving on. Next one. Big one. Because I'm sure everyone I, has I know these. how you feel about this one, I think. Do you? Do you think? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe. I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe Edison wrong. lights. Edison lights. Okay. I'm actually going to ask you, what do you think? I like them. Okay. In the right place. Setting. Like in the right, right mm -hmm. setting, in the right light fixture. Yep, yep. Um, Definitely. I, yeah. Okay. I feel that. I feel they're, they're good in the, in the right home, in the right environment, in the right space. And this is actually a weird one because we're going down a weird path. Okay. But, like, the old style Edison lights are great. Right? Okay. Yeah. They're great. They add, they add, like, they were warmth and in the right kind of artsy, rustic-y space, even farmhouse, some modern spaces, they work really well. It takes a weird turn whenever you go and buy, like, the LED ones. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why this is a thing all of a sudden, but they, I think it's because people were got, like, got sick of the yellow light and they wanted more bright light, but now it, they just look terrible. You can't look at them at all because they pierce they're your too, eyes. Yeah, they're too bright. I think that kind of bulb is supposed to be, like, that warm yeah. yellow tone. Yes. And I don't... I don't see it being good as a bright LED. Yes, totally agree. So. so I think Edison bulbs are a yay for me, but again, it's very specific about right. the space. So I agree with you, Amanda, okay. totally. Dining rooms are a no, by the way. 
No. Yeah. Dining rooms are a no. no. Kitchens are a no. Yeah. Bathrooms are a no. It's a, it's a good, like, accent. Totally good accent light. light. Yeah, we use them, like, even in the office here. Yeah. Yeah. So, next one. Open shelving. Open shelving is all the rage. It has all been for... For a while. Five, yeah, like five years yeah. or so. Um, I don't... I, I don't know. I like accents of open shelving. I, I agree. I like them. Um, I wouldn't do an entire kitchen with open no. shelving. Um, no, never. Don't And do I that. feel like... The type of person who can get away with that is somebody who's like super, super like minimal Absolutely. items and yeah. very neat and organized because yeah. you're just everything's on display. You and don't have a lot of pieces because yeah. you don't really get a lot of storage. Yeah. Um, but I like it as an accent. So your cabinetry yeah. and maybe some open shelving um, in the kitchen yeah. by your window. So yeah. just little, but I do like the look. Yeah. Um, and like little corners and crevices. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and you got to keep in mind the practicality of an open shelf, right. like the cleaning, yeah. the stacking of the dishes. Yeah. It's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's so. nice to display things, yes. so it's good yeah. for that, but uh -huh. I don't think you want to overkill it and mm -hmm. have all open shelving and have totally everything agree. that you have on yeah. display. So, it's not you know, practical. I'm going to just say, unless you're using it for literally an accent, yes. it's a negative for yeah. me. Okay. Like, I just don't think that it's... Would you agree? Maybe? Agree, yeah. yeah. Next one. Big one. We actually get this question every time we go to a house. I'm not even joking, right? Would you yeah, say like 90% of the time? I do. Um, so funny. Sectionals. Sectional sofas. So let's talk through this very quickly. And this is exactly what I say to every single client. Amanda can attest to that. Sectionals are great for like an extra living space. Yes. And primarily if you and your family or your friends are that close. Like you want to lounge and like kind of lay on each other's legs or whatever. Like, honestly, because that's what a sectional is really yeah. for. It's not meant for, like, a main living space for conversation. Right. It's, it's not meant like for a, that. Like a movie room. Yes. Um, great for that, you know, kind of lay out and have the kids. And, yeah. Um, and some families are families. close. Like, yeah. they love to, oh, yeah. you know, be on the same sofa together, and, and it works out really well. But for the most part, if you're looking to, like, entertain, sectionals are really not the best one. Agreed. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. The corner is always an awkward place to sit, so no one ever really sits there. And, like, you can't really fit three people in a section, no matter how big it is, without it feeling awkward, because someone's always left out, because you're literally facing one person. <laughs> so I could go on for days about sectionals. I should stop. It's a lot. It's a lot. You feel very strong. I do. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's because I get asked every day about sectionals. <laughs> but, um, so, I don't, do you want to take any more of that? Like, I agree. I mean, I like them in in the right space. Yeah. I mean, I think it doesn't work for every space. And like you said, um, you know, for conversational aspect, if it's a very large sectional, I mean, you can have people kind of like around yes. it. And you're kind of speaking across. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Definitely more for relaxation. Relaxation, and movie comfort. night, yeah. comfort. Yeah. Which, so, main living space, yeah. probably not. Do the sofa, two chairs. Always safe. Yes. In like a in like a basement or a secondary living room or yes. something like that. Have yeah, if you have a really large space. Yeah. Um, have fun. Yeah, yeah, do it. And the last one. Word art and decals. Word art and decals. This might be another one where everyone has something in their home. <laughs> some word art. I am pretty strongly against word art and decals. Yeah. I don't even want to say that because like... I even think in my house I might have some pieces of word art that I, like, forgot about. No joke. Like, I've decorated probably just, like, I don't even look at it anymore. And then you, like, took everything down and yeah. you got a couple pieces. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I need to go home tonight and reevaluate my decorating situation, but I am not a fan of it. Me neither. I mean, I definitely, I think I have a sign, maybe one or two signs yeah. in my house right now that has some kind of word yeah. art on it. Um no decals. Not no really, decals. Not a decal fan. No, with, um, especially with like the the, the scripties and the yeah. live, laugh, love thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah. So word art decals. Yeah, it's a nay. It's a nay. You can definitely in, like in, in. You can put in your own design flair and your own taste in other ways. Yeah. Colors, textures, patterns, photos okay. of your family. Right. Photos of places that you love, you know, painted art from like your family yeah. or, or, or something you find at yeah. an antique store that you love, whatever it might be. 
but definitely you don't need someone to tell you to live fearlessly every day. Yeah. You really don't, unless you're at your desk. Yeah, right. Because then you need something to get you through. <laughs> Werner so, had a big moment. It did have I a huge it's, moment. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's on, the, it's on the... And then you have, like, the overkill where people just took the word art thing and just went... Oh, it was too much. Room. It was There's too much. some kind of... It's thing. like you know where the coffee bar is, you know where the wine rack is, you know where the kitchen is, you know where the pantry is, you know where the living room is. Like, it's like, okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're labeling, we're labeling the house now. Very interesting. <laughs> No, it did. It did have a, its moment. Yeah. It did explode yeah. a little, a little too much. But um, yeah. you can have a little, little piece here and there. Yeah. Let that, let that go. Yeah. Yeah. But don't start labeling every space with yeah. words. Yeah. And we'll leave on a note of like, you don't necessarily need like a family sign in the middle of a bunch of pictures on your wall of your family, right. because I would hope that they are your family. Just a reminder. It would be in case you forgot. In case you forgot that your family is this what's is you're hanging on your wall. I think it's important <laughs> to maybe take a step back and be like, okay, we can we can design this, you know, collage wall of our family photos without actually calling it exactly what it is, which is family photos. So, so yeah. All right, guys. So that is our yay and nay for design trends video for today. Um, I hope it was a little helpful. If you're struggling Fun, yeah. to move past maybe some design choices that you've had, um, and if you have any questions about how you can kind of remove some of these from your space and what to replace them with. Exactly, yeah. how to incorporate new elements, give us a call. We are here, and check us out on social media and our new podcast, so stay yeah. tuned for that. All right, guys, thanks so much. See Until next, next time. time.